all right guys thanks for watching this diagnostic world video hope you're all doing well uh, the kit we have in front of us here is the iCarsoft MB version 1.0 this kit is available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com and the purpose of this video is really just to do a quick run through of how to use the kit and the features that it has and the options on the menu system. Now first and foremost what I will say is that this kit here is the replacement for the i980 kit. So um, at the time of making this video this tool is available and the i980 kit is also available however this kit here will iron out any of the faults which are such as communication errors in the i980 so uh, say for example if you've got a c-class facelift the i980 won't allow you to diagnose and reset the abs and asp whereas this kit will so this is the newer kit this is the kit to go for if you're considering either the i980 or the mb version 1.0 our advice is to go for this kit here because the i980 kit will soon be discontinued it's still out at the moment it's still selling at the moment but in future this is the one you'll need to use okay with that in mind let's go through the options what i have done here we're in a mercedes e-class and we've got a, a uh, front right malfunction consult workshop message on the dashboard here we've got an airbag light we've also got the airbag light here don't worry about the seat belt because i haven't got the seat belt on and don't worry about the brake because i've got the brake applied um, this airbag light i have simulated it so i've simply unclipped the front connector and i'll put it back in but obviously the lights are still showing so we're going to use that as a basis of um, showing you how to use the tool basically um, we've got a lot of options on the menu system the diagnostics one is the main one you'll probably use uh, but there are a few other options as well you've got the oil service reset uh, in a different video we've all already uh, showed you how to diagnose uh, sorry reset the oil service reset in a vehicle so uh, check that out as well you can go and have a look at the battery voltage it's a really simple tool to navigate around and use and operate the buttons are all very clear and set out and provide a nice click once you've actually uh, selected something uh, so there's a lot of help and about and setup options here this one here I would advise you to do this straight away actually go into setup and you can see it's got buzzer and you can click on or off this is with it on and I don't like that so I always have it set to off and it makes the user experience a lot better so while we're in here we'll click at the uh, have a look at the language so we've got English that's German Dutch French and Spanish uh, unit of measure we've got metric or imperial uh, the buzzer we've already been there before you've got a log where you can record uh, fault codes clear data and also a factory reset um, so this is a handy option actually because um, it's OBD2 and EOBD this basically allows you to diagnose engine faults on any other vehicle which isn't a Mercedes-Benz so long as it's OBD2 or EOBD compliant so that generally means in the UK for example a petrol car from 2001 onwards and a diesel car from 2004 onwards so what we'll do is we'll just show you how to use this one real quick going to select a protocol to connect to the vehicle it's telling us the mill status is off that's a malfunction indicator like light and the codes found there was zero so this car looks like it's quite healthy but just double check no fault codes found so you can do that for any other vehicle so we're in a Mercedes now you can do it on a Ford an Audi BMW a Jaguar a Land Rover it's a handy option to have okay also in this option you can go to read live data and it'll go through all of the different data modules in the vehicle and give you live data as it's being transmitted exactly now from the vehicle so I'm just scrolling through really quickly here giving you a brief overview and there we go so that's the live data so you can do that on any car remember and then we go into diagnostics and this is where it gets a little bit more complex and this is where 
the Mercedes software comes into play really because you've got Mercedes uh, Benz, you've got Smart and Sprinter vehicles. Well, we're in a Benz, so what we're going to do is go through and select our vehicle. So we're in an E-Class, which is a W212. However, there is a big long list of all of the other vehicles supported. We've got 46 in total. That is as of May 2018. You might be watching this video in 2019 or 2020. Um, in which case there will be new cars on the market by then so once the system is updated you will start to see other vehicles slotted in here as well uh, so don't take this video right now as being gospel and as what exactly what you will receive you might receive um, a, a tool which has another A class on the bottom there or the next B class you know so uh, just bear that in mind um, so we're gonna select our vehicle which is a E class well in fact what I'll do is I'll go through all of them first of all and show you which vehicles are covered right now there we go all right so back to where we need to be which is E class 212 it's a sedan it's a diesel engine it's right hand steering and our vehicle is E250 CDI you can choose to smart scan whereby the tool will just automatically scan all of the systems and give you a report on each individual system so it'll tell you that there's either no faults in that system or there may be two faults in this particular system and if there are two faults in the system you can click into it further and see what the faults are uh, that can generally take about 10 minutes to do so in this video we're just going to click on to manual and we're going to select the system that we we actually want to diagnose all right, so we're looking for the airbag system because we know there's an airbag fault here in this system, in this vehicle, sorry. So we just simply find that. There we are, SRS Supplemental Restraint System. And we're gonna look to see what fault codes it will give us. So we'll click on to read fault code. And it's giving us 9B51, belt buckle driver has a short circuit to positive or open circuit so that's one of four so it's produced four fault codes this fault uh, 9c14 neck pro head restraint driver has an open circuit uh, 9ccd the squib for pelvis airbag driver has excessively high resistance and 9cc5 the squib for side bag driver has excessively high resistance so all of these obviously go to the same connector. We simply unclipped a connector and we've put it straight back in. So uh, what we'll be able to do now is show you the clear fault memory. So once we do this, we'll be able to get rid of the airbag message there and the airbag light in the middle there. So click on that now, there we go. They've gone off instantly. And that really is the process for all of the other systems as well. Um, let's have a look at something else now the uh, suspension on this car is the airmatic suspension it's the air suspension now we know this vehicle has a, a fault in it because when we come back to the vehicle every morning the rear vehicle drops uh, and it sits sort of it sort of hides the top of the wheels so the rear of the car really drops um, and we, we know it's a problem with the, uh, the the actual the air bags not the airbags as in coming out to help you in an accident but the airbags where the air suspension sits in so uh, click on to airmatic and we'll just read these fault codes while we're here there we go it's giving us four fault codes five five six eight eight four and this is telling us information to do with sensors So we, I mean, we need, we really need to look into that a bit more. But don't worry about that for now. It's just really showing you how the fault codes are given and the description of the faults. Um, you need to then really go away and look at the faults in a bit more detail to get the exact diagnosis. Uh, so you can do you can do all of the other systems as well. There's, I mean I'll scroll through the systems here just to give you an idea. And there we are back at the SRS airbags. So um, 
for connecting to the internet the SD little SD card is in there that will allow you to do updates um, connect to the computer via that you'll get a cable for that as well um, each tool has its own unique serial number which you will see on the back there that's how you know it is a genuine product we only stock genuine products be aware because there are fake products on the market so as I say it's available at Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com I'll put the link to this kit directly below in the description and in the comments box below this video and I will give you um, a good idea of how the tool performs uh, if you click on to the link actually there'll be a lot more information there you'll see more images and a few videos of the tool actually diagnosing airbag faults check engine light faults ABS warning lights you name it this kit will diagnose it um, it's also good as well for the uh, the new well I say new but the uh, the W205 the uh, C-Class uh, where the i980 struggles to it won't connect to that vehicle but this will as I mentioned earlier the C-Class W204 C-Class um, facelift this kit connects to it the i980 kit won't so this kit is really the future um, obviously over and above the i980 this does the all service resets as well the i980 does not so we would highly 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 recommend this kit over the i980 because you're going to be left with an i980 kit which I'm not saying that you won't you won't get support for it because um, you know in years to come they will still roll out well they still they should still roll out updates for that tool um, however I can't guarantee for how long they're going to update that tool so if you want a tool where you know you're always going to get updates and you know there'll always be help and support there this is the tool to go for but it's available at Diagnostic World contact us there and we'll help you out if you need to uh, to purchase this tool thanks for watching and I hope this helps